all these mega carriers are cheap haulers. I just literally called on a load that's loading on Saturday out of Burley, Idaho, going to, uh, I was going to Springfield, Missouri, actually, which I was like, that's not a bad market because I can get a good load coming home out of there, right? And uh, the guy the guy brings up the rate and he starts laughing and he says, man, this is cheap. And this is Prime, the broker, Prime Inc., like their large, large company. And he goes, he goes, uh, yeah, this is this is this is cheap. I mean, even the market rate coming out of there is about thirty two hundred bucks, and we're paying twenty five twenty on this. I'm like, uh, I wouldn't take it if I were you. I'm like, yeah, I mean, if you pay thirty two, I'll take it. He goes, no, I can't. This is all we got in it. That's our that's our direct customer. So, mega carriers haul for cheap. They make up with volume. They don't make money. They just make up with volume. They're cheap. Good luck brokering that, though. Somebody will take it, but it ain't gonna be me. disappear for a few long days. Anybody wants to know how smooth W900Ls are, this is about how smooth they are. Yup, that's how smooth they are. I gotta do something about this. I can't drive this truck like that. I owe it. It's terrible. And I'm not saying this is the smoothest highway ever, but man, guys that say that W900Ls ride smooth, man, you guys are tripping. They don't. <laughs> it's like every bump in the road you feel it. Uh, I just got used to the Peterbilt, I guess. Peterbilt's right way, 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 way better, and you guys will agree. I don't know. 389 Leafs is what I gotta do on this or put the air I get on it, because this is terrible. This front end's so bouncy. <laughs> I 
my wife told me to put air in a seat. This is the first time I put air in a seat in, in I don't know, ever driving a truck. Yes, it's a little bit better, but now I'm a freaking bobblehead. <laughs> right now, the highway's kind of calmed down a little bit, but... I know 29 over here between Green Bay and just Chippewa Falls is not the smoothest road, but holy crap, man, this is just unbelievable how bad this is. I'm not exaggerating either. It's just terrible. With air in the seat, it's a little bit better. Actually, it is, but I, I hate having air in my seat. I hate that I have to have air in my seat right now. Kenworth fun, but I guess we're gonna have to remedy this. I can't drive it like that, there's just no way. I, I guess I got used to it, but then I got spoiled with Tiny's good ride. And, and then I didn't really think going to Tiny was that much of a difference, but holy crap, is it a huge difference. Peter built the Kenworth. Bismarck to go call it a night for, and then tomorrow we'll get to Billings. That drip is not my fault. Wasting my fuel. Even though there's plenty of room here. 307 a gallon is what we need. 307. Take that. Fuel will come down a little bit this week, which is good. Real good. I'll take that. Who won't? Who will not take that? Oh, dang. Check out that Western Star over there. It's got some wheelbase to it. It's cool. I like that. Let this uh, braille go by in this international. That's a nice clean unit. I love it.
I'll take it because the truck was dirty and I was planning on washing it. But good thing I didn't wash it yet. I think after this shenanigan here, we'll be probably not having any more threats of rain, but who knows? It's windy as all hell. As you can see, this wiper ain't even doing much of anything because of the way the wind's blowing. Temp drop nicely. 68 degrees. It was 95. Huh. And humid. Nice. Cool them tires down a little bit and everything else. Just left Sox Center and things look a little bit interesting yet again. Let's see how bad it is. They're calling for golf ball sized hail in Alexandria, which is just 20 miles that way. I guess we'll see. I think I kind of waited it out a little bit, so you know, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I'm not really worried about it, I just don't want golf, so golf ball sized hail hitting my truck. I've been here since like 2011, 2012. Been too long. Way too long. I love running up this way. It's my favorite highway. Well, one of my favorite parts of the country to travel through. This is God's country. No man's land. It gets nice and quiet and peaceful. Especially in the wintertime. When it's 50 below, wind chill. Do it every week. coming down dude. when you get older my wife told me this you're not going to be able to see anything oh, watch out four wheeler come in you're not going to be able to see nothing she's right it's like that time of the night where the sun's still setting and you can't see anything so yeah anyway um we're not going to be able to find any cheaper fuel on it's going to be about 45 cents a gallon more on average than uh, here so I got it for 310 a gallon and I think that um, Montana I think the cheapest I saw was like I'm trying to figure out so I don't piss anyone off over here with this reefer maybe I'll go park next to that Cascadia over there that's already got a reefer but uh yeah, it's uh, the cheapest. The cheapest is gonna be about 3.45 a gallon, so it ain't gonna cut the mustard seeds. And uh, get backed up over here. That and my mirrors are all nasty. Man, I'm just piss poor owner operator. I should have washed my mirrors at the fuel island. Just can't see nothing. They're all dirty from 
rain. back here from all the water all right check the other side when we get back we're gonna have to find ourselves a tire though this one's starting to get bad and I don't know if it's just because it's went bad or if shocks were bad I don't think the shocks are necessarily bad because it was still holding pretty good I think it's just a bad tire and trailers will wear tires no this isn't spread axle wear no it's not illegal it's still illegal it's just choppy and it's annoying so we'll find ourselves a tire it sucks because it's almost new it's just once they start to go like that there ain't nothing bringing them back they're just gonna go wear out and when we bought this trailer that tire is already starting to go like that and there's no saving it so yeah just one of those things just another expense i guess but it's all right. I guess I could back up a little bit more, actually. That way I won't hear that guy's engine because he's idling. And we won't be idling. This guy's idling. It's not too bad out of here. It's only 70, 69, 70. But uh, I don't know. We might fire up that guy. So. All right, let's go shut her down for the night. Hello, it's me again. I figured I'd give you guys a goodbye for the night. So, we're about 400... 60, 450 miles away. So no rush, because that's like seven hours. Um, we're going to get there and tomorrow and then just hang out, because I don't think... Going to a U.S. I think it's a U.S. Foods, or one of them food distribution places. So I'm pretty sure there's no truck parking, but there's a big old pilot down the road. So one of those town and pumps, I think they call them. I parked there back in the day quite a bit. Um, not a bad place. We're going to an extreme heat. <laughs> it's supposed to be 100 plus over there on Friday. And then it's going to be pretty much almost 100 every day till we uh, maybe even get home. So I'm going to call on a load tomorrow because... Actually, so I got a load today. I'm loading cheese in Idaho, and we're going to take that to Missouri, Carthage. Not going to the caves this time, though. So just not going to the caves. Um, then there's a load out of there going back to Wisconsin. I'm going to try to snag tomorrow also. It would look, work out pretty good. It's coming out of the Kansas City area, so might do that. I think I'm going to do that, so yeah. Today we played businessman, we played owner operator, and we played trucker and steering wheel holder and all that stuff. As soon as we left the house, we booked ourselves a load. Well, as soon, almost. I started looking because it's just, I can't not help myself to look. And we were there on Saturday, and I'd like to be able to get a full paycheck in since last week kind of sucked. And the way our pay period falls here is it's Tuesday to Tuesday, so everything I do by Tuesday and turn in, I get paid. If the load doesn't deliver till after Tuesday, well, then I won't get paid till the following week on it. So I wanted to get two full loads on next week's paycheck because we got a bunch of bills due and it'd just be nice. So cross my fingers that so we can get that load delivered and all goes well. And uh, yeah, we can uh, run that in and get it delivered. 
um, I think we'll be fine. So after we get unloaded, we'll bounce over there because, like I said, we're not. There's nothing in Billings. There's nothing in Montana. So we're gonna bounce bounce down there and grab that load. This this load going to Billings pays me enough to do that. I always, when I take a load out this way, I always base myself that I'm gonna bounce to Idaho, and I basically got a good enough rate to do that. Um, so yeah, what were we talking about? Anyway, it's gonna be warm, so whatever. It's summertime, summertime trucking. Before you know it, it's gonna be cold and snowing, so might as well take advantage of the heat. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys something. Oh yeah, so pretty much when we left the house, I booked this load coming back, and everything else that I was finding was delivering Wednesday, which would have sucked because then I wouldn't get paid on it till the following week, and I wanted a full paycheck, so. Um, that being said, that this works out, delivers Tuesday morning, hopefully early morning it's going to Scri Schreiber Foods which I may be their 24-hour facility I have to look them up maybe they'll load us early I'm gonna to try to book that load out of Kansas City area tomorrow back to Economy Walk. not a bad rate either I might be able to hit them up for a little bit more money though which is always the case I could probably squeeze them for another couple hundred dollars it already pays well it pays over three bucks a mile so I'm I'm, I'm gonna to try to I'm gonna I'm gonna go close to well, probably won't get far, but try to get close to 350 out of them. Um, so yeah, we're in Steel, North Dakota. Go to bed. Peace. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. I've been on a flex since flex on.